Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. This is the Anacademy Need BG platform. My name is Dr. Anand. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that we have this mind-blowing Need BG contest, which is basically happening on January 23rd at 11 a.m. Jan 23rd, 11 a.m. I want you all to participate in this amazing mind-blowing Need BG contest. We'll be asking 45 questions and we'll give you 60 minutes. There'll be questions from medicine, derma, anesthesia, psychiatry, and radiology. And what do you get in return? Nothing. You just get 10 lakh rupees. You just get a reward from a pool of 10 lakh. So I think it's it's amazing. I mean, it's good to participate, number one. And number two, exam is coming in the March. So it's it's best if you participate as much as possible. So see you there on Jan 23rd, okay? That's, that's really, it'll be amazing, okay? And also at the same time, like uh, as coming to our mnemonic of the day, basically. So I would like to uh, have this one, one very, very, very important uh, video I would like to show you. And I would like to ask your uh, best opinion. So I'll play this video. So very importantly, what can you see in this newborn baby? It's like a mnemonic of the day or I would say, like to say like the question of the day basically. Can we see this umbilical cord? Yesterday only in my hospital I saw this newborn baby with a very thin umbilical cord. Can we can we appreciate any this umbilical cord is very thin? Yes or no? So where do you see thin umbilical cord? Like in which condition or what comes to my mind if I talk about thin umbilical cord can we see that this baby yes or no normally umbilical cord is very thick okay but this baby is having very thin umbilical cord so what is the best answer comes to my mind so thin umbilical cord is one of the very important conditions of the IUGR babies yes or no what is IUGR anyone IUGR is intra uterine growth restriction intra uterine growth restriction have you heard this word very good Please remember it is restriction not retardation it is intra uterine growth restriction not retardation so i'll repeat again this is a thin umbilical cord of a baby of iugr babies and remember iugr is of two types yes or no have you heard of symmetrical iugr yes or no have you heard of symmetrical iugr and one is asymmetrical iugr yes or no in the symmetrical iugr the insult is from the first trimester okay whereas in asymmetrical iugr the the insult is from the late first trimester or second trimester yes or no we have done this in the previous videos also we have done this a typical one hour topic of iugr we have done so I'll repeat again, this thin umbilical cord is a, is a feature of baby of IUGR. IUGR is intrauterine growth restriction. It is of two types, symmetrical IUGR and asymmetrical IUGR. Symmetrical IUGR, the insult of, uh, in the mother is there from the beginning. For example, like you can say chromosomal abnormalities. For example, genetic defects. In these conditions, the insult is there from the beginning. Okay, so that's a, these are the causes of symmetrical IUGR. Whereas asymmetrical IUGR, the insult is little late for example maternal anemia for example uteroplacental insufficiency uteroplacental insufficiency yes or no mother not able to gain weight these all insult happens later and that is known as asymmetrical iugr and the name of the index which we which which can differentiate symmetrical iugr from asymmetrical iugr is nothing but ponderal index yes or no have you heard of ponderal index yes ponderal index is one index which basically helps in differentiating symmetrical iugr from asymmetrical these are the very important uh, points uh, in one small very clinical video we have covered a lot of questions so thank you so much thank you so much everyone for everyone for watching this video and do share like and subscribe and see you again after a few days again with a new video which will be really helpful for you thank you